What's up YouTube? It's Carolina Calvin coming back to another video. In this video, I want to ask this question. Is upgrading to the Xbox One X and or PS4 Pro worth it? Now, people talk about people talk about these two platforms all day on Twitter. Mostly the Xbox One X, obviously because it hasn't come out yet. It releases November 7th of this year, so the hype is the hype train is huge. You know, it's, it's big for uh, this for Microsoft's upcoming platform, well, mid-gen upgraded platform, and the PS4 Pro came out last year, holiday of last year. So you you, you know you're gonna see the comparisons just because their you know situation is very similar, mid-gen upgraded console. People mostly you know uh, you see mostly head to heads, and you see most of the fanboys, Xbox fanboys, Sony fanboys, the ones are really fussing. So of course they're gonna be compared. Now, I'm gonna give you, before I give you how, what I'm planning on doing, at least for the foreseeable future, and I'm gonna give you both sides. You know, people probably will get one, and the people more than likely won't, and you know, kind of reasons why, because I do understand. <clears throat> okay, for the people who are getting it, they play a bunch of games. Let's say, that's not to say the people who don't plan on getting it don't, but these people, you know, they value resolution. They, they you know, they want to get every. You know, I, I got friends who are gonna get the Xbox One X. They have a PS4 Pro, so they, you know, they want to get every time one of these companies releases a new platform. You know, they get it, and you know, it's kind of they kind of treat it like phones. You just gotta get that new phone. Obviously, phones come out more often, but you know, they kind of treat it like that. They want that boost in resolution. They got a 4K TV and or they plan on getting a 4K TV. That's important because just kind of moving over to the side who probably won't get it. You don't have a 4K TV. Honestly, well, yeah, both sides. If you don't have a 4K TV, you don't plan on getting a 4K TV. Do not get this. Do not get the Xbox One X. Do not get the PS4 Pro. And no, I'm not telling you what to, what to do with your money. But I'm trying to save you money and time. If you're looking to get one of these platforms, you don't have a 4K TV, get you a uh, you know a PS4 Slim, 200, 250, you know holiday season. Who knows how much it will cost? Go get your Xbox One S. Go get you the OG. Well, Xbox One X S. Damn it! Go get your Xbox One S if you you know don't own one of these platforms you want to get one you know you want to play gears you want to go back and play halo 5 or you know some of these other games you know crackdown 3 is coming out stage of k comes out next year and you don't have a 4k tv go get your xbox one s if resolution is not that important to you you know like i said same thing with playstation the people who and this kind of falls in kind of close to the line with how i feel there are many people, who, well, for the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X, it's it's not that big of an upgrade. And this is honestly how I feel. It's not that big of an upgrade just in terms of frames. You won't get a boost in frame rate for most of these games. They've already said open world games are going to run exactly the same as it runs on these other, you know, as the previous iteration of these platforms and I think that's a bummer now multiplayer games I understand because for instance Destiny runs at 30 frames on all the platforms all except for PC but it runs at 30 frames for the consoles and you understand it for the simple fact that there it has a competitive aspect in terms of its crucible PvP or whatever someone that's running at 60 someone running at 30 the guy that's running at 60 has an advantage. Simple as that. The guy that's running at 60 has an advantage. So I understand it with the multiplayer games. My biggest issue is why aren't these single player games running better? Why aren't we hear why aren't we hearing about a bump in frames for these single player games? It's and there's no competitive aspect. 
you can have it running at 60. You guys who are playing on the, the other platforms running at 30. Why is this, you know, that was the thing that I had an issue with, with the PS4 Pro. Where does that bump in frame rate? I necessarily don't care as much about resolution, especially when resolution is value over frame rate. And you have people out here thinking that resolution is more valuable than frame rate. Now, if that's how you feel, that's fine. But I want my games to run as smooth as possible. I'll play... I'll play 1080p 60 before I play 4K 30. This is just how I feel. I'll play 1080p 60 before I play 4K 30. Because I want the game to run as smooth as possible. So that's where I'm sitting at. It's not that big of an upgrade. And there are a lot of people who feel it, you know, who's on that side as well, who feel it's, it's not that big of an upgrade. You know, They've been pushing resolution, and like I said, they they value resolution with both of these, and it just confuses me the fact that. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of talk bad about Microsoft. What did they show to really sell you that platform for the Xbox One X? PS4 Slim, a lot of lies coming from Sony. Without a doubt, a lot of lies coming from Sony. Those games, uh, they you know, they could barely even get 4K on majority of their games, quote unquote. And even for both, it's not necessarily native 4K. You want true 4K gaming? You want true 4K gaming? You threw out a lot of money on a good, really good 4K TV. You might as well go to PC if you want that true 4K gaming. You care about frames, uh, graphical fidelity. You want max settings, PC gaming, and honestly, just advertising PC gaming. But it's true. If you care that much about all of that, and you want max settings, go to PC gaming because these these mid-gen upgrade consoles are just not gonna do it. And we know for a fact, based on what what's been shown, what's been told. That they're not gonna reach even close to getting that like the PC can. But obviously, that's a far fetched thing because there's some people who just prefer console, the simplicity of console gaming. And I get that. They prefer the simplicity of con uh, console gaming. So that's fair. But where I sit, it's just not that much of an upgrade. I gave the reasons why if you really want one, you got the 4K, you know, you got the 4K TV. <laughs> it is almost paramount that you have that 4K TV to uh if you plan on getting it or you're really uh I would say losing out. But that's how I feel about, you know, these mid-gen console upgrades. I don't plan on getting the Xbox One X. I don't plan on getting a PS4 Pro. These games is coming out for these platforms for the most part I plan on getting. I may get Crackdown 3. Um, you know, whatever else games comes out on PS4, you know, it's gonna come out for PS4. It's just these console upgrades just don't, they don't excite me at all. And that's going for really both. They don't really excite me at all. We have to wait for next gen to really see true 4K. We want to see how, you know, higher frame rates. We want to see all of that. We'll just have to wait to next gen. Hopefully, there will be a next gen. There will be because gaming. Is at an all time high right now. But if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.